three states of matter. There are a few things that we need to note about the three states of matter, the solid states, liquid state, and the gaseous state. Okay, We will discuss this one by one. So we have three states of metal, solid state, liquid state, and uh, gaseous state. And uh, the very first thing that we need to note about the three states of matter is the arrangements of particles. For solid, the particles are arranged in orderly manners and close to one another. So the, the arrangements of particles look like this. Okay, they are very, very close to each other and uh, is nicely arranged in orderly manner. For liquid, they are still close to each other, not as close as solid, but still very close to each other. However, they are not arranged in order. So this is arranged in order. This is not arranged in order. Okay, they are still quite close. Even uh, the space between the particle is moderately large compared to a uh, solid, but they are still quite close to each other. Eh? Okay, and for gas, you can see that the particles are very far from each other. Okay, and they are not arranged in orderly manners as well. Yep, it's randomly arranged. So this is what you need to know about the arrangements of particles for the three states of matter. We also need to know the intermolecular forces, motions of particles, and the energy content for three states of matter. For solid, the intermolecular force is very strong. Okay, and uh, and this force holds all the particles together so that it doesn't it can move freely. This make a fixed form for solid. And for liquid, sorry, for gas, the force is very weak and therefore the gas particles can move freely. And for liquid, the force is still very strong. Okay, we can just now we see we can see that the particles are still very close to each other because they're there is a strong force that hold them together. But when we compare to solids, the force is weaker. Solid, the particles cannot move freely. Okay? They are hold by the force. And for liquid, the particles can move freely. They're still close to each other, but they can move freely. It means that the force is not uh, too strong compared to solid. Eh? So therefore, they can move freely. For motions of particles, solid, the particles can only vibrate at a fixed position. They can't move to other place. Okay, they are at a fixed position and they just vibrate at that position. And for liquid, particles move randomly and slowly and sometimes will collide against each other. So liquids, the particles can move freely. Okay, and slowly. Yep. And for gas, the particles move randomly in all directions at very high speed. So gas particles move with a very high speed. Eh? Energy content. Solid has the lowest energy content because the temperature is always the lowest. And the liquid has higher. And the highest is gas. Eh? Gas has highest energy content and the liquid has moderate energy content. So uh, this is what you need to know about uh, the three states of matter. And then the very last thing that you must know is the change of the state of matter. Solid can change to liquid, liquid can change to gas, and vice versa. And you need to know the name of all this process and make sure that you remember all this, the name of the process because most of the questions come out ask you about the change of state. Eh? So for solid, uh, to liquid, eh? okay, the process is called melting. We heat solid up to a certain temperature, it will start melting. So the process is called melting. And from liquid to solid, the process is called freezing. We lower down the temperatures of liquid at certain temperature, then it will freeze and become solid. Eh? So this process is called freezing. And liquid to gas is called vaporization. There are two types of vaporization, boiling and evaporation. Okay? But generally from liquid to gas, the process is called vaporization. And okay, vaporization has boiling and evaporation. And then so from gas to liquid is condensation. Yep. So gas can condense to become liquid. And sometimes we have a process where a solid can change directly to gas, and this is called sublimation. And gas also can change directly back to solid, and it's called reverse sublimations or sublimations. 
you can say both of these are sublimation. But sometimes in some book, they call this uh, gas from solids as the reverse sublimations. So this is what you need to know huh? about uh, solid liquids and gas.